look at an animal, and odds are you'll see a tail. But why do animals have tails? Tails are actually pretty complicated, and the purposes are diverse, varying from animal to animal. However, the most common use of a tail is to communicate feelings. A dog or cat will have its tail held high when alert, but held down low when scared or sad. When we venture outside of this behavioral function, though, the usage gets a lot more diverse. Primates and some other mammals have two different kinds of tails, prehensile tails and non-prehensile tails. Prehensile tails act as an extra hand, and they aid in grabbing other items and hanging onto trees. On the other hand, non-prehensile tails help balance the animal while swinging, climbing, and jumping. Birds use their tails to steer themselves. Fish and other sea animals use their tails as a method of propulsion. Grazing animals use theirs to swap biting insects. Alligators store fat in theirs, and foxes use their large, bushy tails as a blanket to warm them up. But wait a second. Humans are technically animals, right? So where's our tail? Humans, like all other mammals, do have a tail. In the first four weeks of human embryogenesis, that is. Human embryogenesis is basically the beginning stage of development in a human, occurring eight weeks before the fetus is created. But evidently, we don't have tails. So where does our tail go? Our tails are quickly absorbed into our growing body, leaving a coccyx, also known as a tailbone, behind. What seems like a pointless part of our vertebrae, however, is actually essential in the connection of muscles, tendons, and ligaments, and it provides us support while sitting. So even though we humans don't have a tail to keep us warm or swat away biting insects, other animals do have tails, and they rely on them every day to keep them alive. Thanks for watching today's video. If you enjoyed, be sure to subscribe, like, and comment. If you would like to see some other content by Science Saturdays, be sure to click on the pictures below. In next week's video, we will be answering the question, does light weigh anything? Science Saturdays, bringing free education to the modern world.